Hello and welcome back to the Unboxers and today we have for you some awesome aliens! Yes. We have uh, some alien eggs and we have... Kane face hugger attack! From Alien the movie. From Alien the movie, yes. <laughs> so we want to say a great big thank you to... Hiya Toys! For sending these to us for free to share with you today. So let's go ahead and take a look at Kane. Okay, so yeah, this face is exciting attack. because this is actually only the second... Oh, it just has the... Logo Ooh. on the back, but there's Kane. Whoa. So this is only the second of the crew that we've done from the first Alien movie. We did previously did Ellen Ripley, and so now we have wow. Kane face look, hugger Look at his armor. That's something else. Uh, looks like when they try to make a catcher's gear out of yeah. <laughs> stuff laying around the house. But uh, yeah, looks like he's going to have a face hugger attack for sure. Um... And it uh, looks like he's going to come with an extra set of hands and um, for you to swap a, swap out. And then we have the alien eggs. Alien eggs that the face huggers come out of. Oh, there you have it. And these, uh, there looks like there's going to come six inside. Yes, I think there's actually six of the eggs, uh -huh. various, either open there's or stages. closed. Oh, and okay. Then, um, and then six of the face huggers. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get these out of their boxes and give you a much closer look. We'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Um, so let's take a look at first at Kane. Okay. Okay, so he comes with the um, the stand. It has like the grate and it's got the peg on there so you can he can stand up on that. And if you build it with the H and I things, you can attach it together and make yes, this like great whole, big one. This is really cool. So you can see kind of how they kind of attach Connect together underneath. And then you can make like a larger platform. So if you want to display the figures in a group. That, it does connect on all four sides. Yeah. So you, can, um, you can create it however you would like to uh, with the pegs in whatever position you need them in. Um, all right. So let's take a look at his accessory. So, he's got this really cool, tiny... Yeah, I'm guessing it's some kind of like a gay... I don't, I don't really remember for the movie. Um, I'm guessing it's some kind of like, you know, it takes readings or whatever, but it looks like a little TV or It does look like a little TV. Very cool. Were you going to say gauge? Yeah, I'm, oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking it has, you know, it yeah, takes some kind of readings. And, yeah. All right. Um, and then he also comes with an extra set of hands. Now, um, he has open hands on him. He has a, oh, sorry, they're so tiny. He has a fisted hand um, and um, a grippy hand. Yes, yeah, the fisted hand. Okay, so a fisted hand and a grippy hand that you can swap out. Um, now let's take a look at Kane himself. So here he is. Here's the figure. And it looks like um, they busted through his helmet. Yes, it true? actually, yeah, well, it actually, like, eats... Like, because like the, it bleeds acid, so Ooh. it actually kind of eats his way through his mask and attaches itself. Super to Super creepy, and so we'll show you that in a in a little bit. But let's take a look at the detail of his armor. Like we said, he looks like he's kind of patched together, but he does have a samurai look to him to me, uh, like a like what the sa samurai dummies that they beat up on. Yeah, you know the um, to practice their skills. Um, very cool. Um, he's got some color going on here, and he's got the same kind of wrap around here Does he does around his shins. So, very interesting. There's the back, and he's, I guess, like an oxygen coming to him. But uh, I'm going to let John show off the, um, the helmet and everything and his articulation. Okay. So, let's take a look. That is one of the cool things is that the... Uh the helmet actually is in two pieces, so you can take that off, and then you can actually see Kane's head underneath with the face hugger firmly attached to it. So very Whoa. cool and Super creepy. creepy yes. Um, so then, like, I'm guessing he probably doesn't have. Oh, look at the actual. It's actually. What are you showing? It it like the the little finger, the little leg or whatever moves oh, so wow. I, I guess it <laughs> might be actually something attached to his face but um so i don't think he's got uh any neck articulation well it might it does feel like it'll turn but not a whole lot but you're not going to really be looking for that with this figure but he does have 
articulation at the shoulder. Um, he has the bicep swivel. Uh, he has, um, it's kind of hard to tell where the elbow is on this, but it does have elbow articulation and wrist articulation. Um, he has two points at the in the torso, one at the waist and then one mid-torso, if you can see them rotating independently. Um, he also has articulation at the, the hips and at the knees, and then also at the ankle. So um, the, um, the movement is a little restricted on these, but that's really based on the character's uh, outfit, not really so much um, on the figure itself, but yeah, just based on how it's supposed to be. And it uh, looks like the knees will actually also rotate as well as bending, so that's pretty cool. All right, so now let's take a look at the eggs. So you get um, three different styles, but you do get six eggs. I'm going to start off with showing you that you get the closed egg. And um, as John was pointing out to me, these are translucent. So what you can do... Yes, we've actually done a previous one for um, the egg, for some different eggs. But these actually Ooh. are translucent, which is a really cool touch. That is really cool. And it's got a pinkish hue up there. And then the next one is slightly opened. Um, it's translucent as well. All six of them are. Yeah, so this would have been like in the movie like where it's open, but it still has the face hugger inside ready to pop uh, out. This, and one, this is one is empty! <laughs> So that's the three different styles. You get two of each uh, different style. And then the same way with the face huggers, you're going to get three different styles and two of each. So first of all, let's start off with this one. Doesn't These do not look alive. We were talking about how they kind of look like... Yeah, I think these are like, look the, like the dead ones after they've yeah. done their job. and So they look like that. Or if they're upside down, their legs are like that. But you get two of that style. And then you get two of this style... Which is like almost they're in attack mode. Yeah, I think mode. those are like like they're scaring across the the floor or something like they're coming after you. And uh, so there it is underneath, super gross. Um, that's well, I mean that's how face huggers are supposed to be, super yeah. gross. Um, and then we have two of this style, and uh, slightly different. Um, they look the same underneath. And these, you said, are like jumping. Yeah, I think these are more like, they're because they're like flayed, like they're jumping in the mm -hmm. tails. So like you could even do, this is just kind of rudimentary, but like if you, um, like you could actually have them, um, like if you had like some tiki tack ups or something, I've done that with the other ones. Coming out of the egg. You can kind of, yeah, have them show them coming out of the egg, kind of jumping out. So that's pretty. That's cool. Pretty neat. Or jumping from egg to egg. <laughs> So, very cool. So, there's the three different styles of those. Okay, so there's one last look at... Kane Facehugger Attack and the Alien Egg Assortment. <laughs> <laughs> so, we want to say another great big thank you to... Hiya Toys! For sending these to us for free to share with you today. Thanks so much for watching. As always, come back and see us. Like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.